Canada is loosening more travel restrictions, but you will still have to wait before heading across the border for a vacation. Starting today, fully vaccinated travelers from the U.S. are allowed to enter Canada. Under the new rules, travelers must be immunized at least 14 days ago, provide a negative COVID test, and use the ArriveCan app. This is the first time in 17 months the country is reopening land borders for non-essential travel. U.S. restrictions on non-essential traveling for Canadians will continue at land crossings. However, air, sea and rail travelers are exempt. Easing border restrictions comes after border agents reached a new tentative agreement after a day-long work-to-rule campaign and word the U.S. is considering mandating vaccinations for all foreign travelers. Joining us now to help navigate everything you need to know is former Air Canada executive and global aviation professor at McGill University, John Graddick. Good morning, John. Good morning, Pfizer. How are you? I'm good. And so this is a topic uh, for you sound off today. We've been getting a lot of uh, emails and tweets, uh, a lot of them actually talking about why this wasn't reciprocated uh, to Canadians in the first place. Uh, what does this say about our reopening process? Well, it's it's a first step. I think, that, you know, we, each country has its own rules. Each country has its own practices in terms of who they allow, who they do not allow into the country. I think a month ago, uh, the, the federal government decided that August 9th was a good time, was a good date uh, for them to allow for um, Americans to come into Canada. Uh, unfortunately, um, the U.S. government basically said that they would extend the July 21st uh, you know, a ban on travel into the U.S. They extended it to August 21st. So it's, it's their call. If there really isn't any need for homogeneity, as we call it, in terms of rules, so uh, we just have to basically have some patience in terms of waiting for the U.S. to allow Canadians to visit. And John, do you think that uh, Canadians will notice any issues after border agents uh, reached a new tentative agreement on Friday? No, I think that, I think that you know it, it would have been you know putting in mildly chaos this morning if it if those if that agreement had not been put in place. I think that you know we've got 48 hours since that agreement has been reached. Uh, I think that the uh, what we've seen over the latter part of the weekend was a normal practice of what was going on at the border. So I don't think we can expect anything untoward this morning at those border locations. What advice do you have for Canadians about what to expect um, at the border? Well, I think that, you know, you're, you're going to see a lot more American license plates showing up at the border, trying to cross the border. So uh, so you're, you're, you're going to expect traffic. You're, you're going to expect um, you know, Americans coming in to visit, Americans coming in to take a trip to Canada, something they haven't been able to do in 18 months. People have property in Canada. Uh, they're going to come back and visit the cottage, make sure everything is in good shape. Mm -hmm. So whether you're in Montreal, whether you're in Toronto, whether you're in Vancouver or, or Calgary, uh, you're going to see a lot more Americans uh, and the American license plates coming into the Canadian uh, territory. John, do you think that this is something that will soon be reciprocated to Canadians, where Canadians can can also enjoy international travel again? I, th I think so. I think that you know it, it's a question of time. It's, it's it really is one for everybody to kind of get comfortable with you know the impact of vaccinations. Uh, I think that you know the, the vaccination rate that we've achieved in Canada over the last few months has been you know astounding. I think we you know we've got 70 percent of the population. Uh, you know, close to 70% uh, being double vaccinated. So, you know, we are probably one of the more vaccinated, fully vaccinated countries around the world. So it, I, I don't think it will be long before we have a situation where Canadians are okay to go. I think that you see international, like today is only Americans, uh, but on September 7th, the world mm -hmm. is, is welcome to Canada. So it's, it's going to be a slow progression, but I think sometime by the end of September, beginning of October, we should all be fully uh, free of regulations to travel into the uh, anywhere we want in the world. We hope so. John Graddock, we thank you so. so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Bye, it's my pleasure. Have a great day. You too. Take care. Time Take now, 7.10 a.m. Dina Sid. Actually, Dina, I've been watching your Instagram Fiza. stories the last couple of days. Talk to me. Jealous. Faiza, I'm jealous of your hair. How come you don't have not one I have bit a lot. of a frizz? factor happening and look at There's my mask. There's a lot of frizz. It's just That's tucked it. in. Teach me your ways <laughs> to tame the mane, okay?